You might think Kia already has the mid-size SUV market covered with the popular Lurider Row and the new EV9 electric SUV, but the 2024 Sorento is the brand's utility player in this class. Unlike the Telluride and EV9, both of which are offered with just one powertrain each, the Sorento is offered with four two of which are hybrids. You can have a base model with a non-turbo four-cylinder and front-wheel drive if you're on a budget, or you can splurge for a turbocharged X-Pro model with some light off-roading gear and a bunch of interior luxuries if you're feeling spendy. The plug-in hybrid model can take you up to an estimated 30 to miles on electricity before its gas engine kicks in. But if you want electrification without the complication of charging, the regular hybrid provides an extra acceleration, kick, and good fuel economy too. What's more, all these variants come standard with three rows of seats, although there's less space than in the Telluride's rearmost row. Kier has given non-hybrid trims of the 2024 Sorento a mid-cycle refreshed at, largely focused on appearances. A fresh front grille and revised taillights are among the most significant changes, but the Sorento receives updated wheel designs and other tweaks too. The cabin receives updates to the dashboard and infotainment, and new X-Line and X-Pro trims give the Sorento a more rugged appeal. The hybrid models carry over unchanged to 2024, but will receive the same styling enhancements as 2025 models. The price of the 2024 Kier Sorento is expected to start around $32,000 and go up to $51,665 depending on the trim and options. Even though for 2024, it doesn't receive the facelifted styling, we still like the EX Hybrid. It's pricier than the Bay Sorento, but it comes standard with the turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder hybrid powertrain that's more powerful than the non-hybrid offering. It also has nicer amenities than the trims below it, including Fox leather upholstery, heated front seats, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and remote start. The Sorento has a wide selection of engine options and is available with front or all-wheel drive. A 191HP 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder engine is standard, and a 281HP turbocharged 2.5-liter four-cylinder is available too. Both pair with an 8-speed automatic transmission, and the hybrid model uses a 6-speed automatic. We drove a top-of-the-line SX trim with the Turbo 4, and appreciated its noticeable thrust, but we wish the powertrain felt more responsive off the line. The same model delivered poised handling, and nicely isolated ride, and firm brake pedal feedback. The eco-friendly Sorento Hybrid features a turbo 1.6-liter four-cylinder gas engine and an electric motor that work together to generate 227 horsepower. The all-wheel drive Sorento plug-in hybrid fetches the same engine and transmission as the lesser hybrid, but in this application, the powertrain makes a combined 261 horsepower courtesy of a more powerful electric motor. The X-Pro trim, which is new for 2024, comes only with the turbocharged 2.5-liter four-cylinder and gets a center-locking differential, 17-inch wheels, and all-terrain tires. Although the Kia Sorento won't move mountains, its marginal towing capacity could prove helpful in some situations. The maximum towing capacity for the Sorento is 4,000 pounds in X-Pro guise. Though the Sorento can't match the V6 Powered Kia Telluride's 5,000 pound tow rating, it still can haul a couple of jet skis or small farm animals depending on your lifestyle. The EPA hasn't released estimates for the 2024 Sorento's full lineup, but it has announced ratings for the Sorento Hybrid. The 2024 Sorento Hybrid gets 39 MPG City and 35 MPG Highway for front-wheel drive models, and earn 36 MPG City and 33 MPG Highway when equipped with all-wheel drive.
We'll update this space when the rest of the Sorrento lineup's fuel economy ratings are announced. On our 75 MPH highway fuel economy route, which is part 04 extensive testing regimen, a Sorrento X, hybrid Kiev 31 MPG for MPG short of its EPA estimate. The Sorrento PHEV returned 25 MPG while in hybrid mode, 8 MPG off its EPA estimate. For more information about the Sorrento's fuel economy, visit Thepa's website. The Sorrento's interior has an attractive layout, nice materials, and solid build quality. The dashboard is bookended by two upright air vents, but is otherwise simplistic in its design. Ambient lighting is smartly incorporated into the cabin and stitched. Surfaces on the door panels and seat inserts provide an upscale appearance. A variety of cubby storage spots and cuffholders contribute to the Sorrento's family-friendly mission, along with the standard third row. Its second row bench can be swapped for a pair of captain's chairs. Compared with the larger Telluride, the Sorrento's for back seats aren't comfortable for adults, and we only managed to fit two carry-on suitcases in the cargo area with the third row in place two fewer than the Telluride. The non-hybrid Sorrento comes with a new infotainment setup that consists of two screens mounted side by side in a curved panoramic display, a 4.3-inch digital gauge display, and a separate 1-2.3-inch infotainment touchscreen are standard, but higher-end trims get a larger 1-2.3-inch reconfigurable gauge display instead. Wireless, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto are standard. The Sorrento Hybrid continues to come standard with the older interior design, which includes a 10.3-inch infotainment touchscreen. Other features include an optional wireless charging pad, a 12-speaker Bose stereo system, and a rear seat entertainment system. The Sorrento enjoys a roster of standard and optional driver assistance technology. For more information about the Kier's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IIHS websites. Key safety features include Standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection Standard lane departure warning and lane keeping assist Available adaptive cruise control with a lane centering feature. Kier has one of the most impressive warranty plans in the industry. However, it doesn't offer the complementary maintenance that its corporate counterpart, Hyundai, does. Limited warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 10 years, or 100,000 miles. No complimentary scheduled maintenance, 